Hi everyone, welcome to another video from this Ivy and the Inky Butterfly page. We have got this um, leaf to do today. Now with the leaf, I'm looking at the leaf thinking, it looks to me like this part is slightly sunken down and it sort of stretches upwards. So we're going to colour it to try and emphasise that design on the leaf. So I'm starting with the Oxide of Chrome. This is from my um, Castle Art Soft Touch, which we've used for all of this page. Um, you can use any, um, if, you, if you're using another brand, basically I've got four greens going from dark to light. You know, not really, well, actually it's quite light, but just a transition or a succession of tones so they're all similar they're all sort of olive greens as I say this is oxide of chrome it's quite a dark um, olivey colour and um, they're all on the similar sort of colour as it were and um, so but getting lighter so you could do the same thing you don't have to use the olives you could use blue greens which I think leaves like this usually are or you can use, oh, that was my elbow. Um, <laughs> didn't hurt, don't worry. I just um, scratched the back of my neck and uh, put my arm back down on the table with a thud, so I'm really sorry. Um, you could do blue greens, mid greens, any sort of green, really. And just try and get them all in the same sort of green tones, should we say. So there's our darkest green for now. We may come back, add more. Now the chrome green is quite interesting. So this is the oxide of chrome, this one, and this is the chrome. So it looks like it's darker from the um, from the barrel colour. But if you look at the tip, it's quite hard. But I've done a little scribble and this one is lighter. So that's why I'm using it next. But uh, when I say I've done a little scribble, I mean uh, like a swatch. But because I haven't swatched these, then... I just scribbled it. So again, I'm starting with a darker touch down here, or more layers, I should say, building up those layers, and less as we go up. I'm trying to graduate it so we don't have a sort of sudden line where it gets very much less. I'm quite happy to have a sort of almost line around the edge where we can see a sort of bend in the leaf almost. Okay, and then we're going to move on to our next colour which is cadmium green. The cadmium green in this set is quite olivey, it's a very pretty colour I always think. I'm going to concentrate on this central area first and just bring all that together with this colour. You can see how it brings a really nice warm yellowy tone to the whole thing. I am going to fade it up here though because I don't want it to be too dark. And then I'm going to just gently apply it to the rest of the leaf, just really lightly. I have a little think about how I'm going to graduate that colour in a minute. Okay, so there we have our basic leaf. And now I'm going to, I think the base might be a little dark right at the bottom of the uh, stem. Um, again, as I've probably said before on this page, I would normally try and make it darker on each side to give it a more three-dimensional look, but it's very difficult to achieve in such a small space. I think on these, I might just darken the edges. We've got those sort of dots, and I'm thinking I'm going to put a little dark bit behind each of those dots. I'm not sure why, but I don't know why those dots are there, so I'm just sort of, you know, playing with them, really. Just darkening that a tiny bit and then I'm going to get my lightest colour now this is really light this is the leaf green light okay so I think it's this colour up here and which is really light I'm going to put a light layer on see whether I think it's dark enough I know that doesn't sound like it makes sense but if I think I need a slightly darker green I will uh, grab one but I think we'll be okay if we layer it up just a little bit so I'm going to layer it up. Oh, if you can hear sort of banging noise, banging pipes, it's my water pipes, my dishwasher is on. And um, when the water comes in and out of the dishwasher, it really seems to bang on the pipes. Um, it's a lot better since we had our new dishwasher, but it still does it a little bit. 
So uh, we just have to um, put up with it really. It used to be so bad that we couldn't put our dishwasher on at night because it would keep everyone awake. Because the cycle seems quite long on our dishwasher. I don't know if that's normal or not. Anyway. So there we are. I'm just sort of blending around and blending in really. Getting all the colours mixed up. Having some fun and <laughs> relaxation. And I'm going to go back in with my cadmium green a little bit just to um, blend it a little more along here. Make this bit a little bit darker. Just to sort of finish it off really. And maybe just to emphasise those edges a little bit. There we go, and I think we're finished. So there is our leaf, it didn't really take very long. I'm not quite sure if it has quite looks how I had imagined it should, but um, I had a go. If you're not happy with that, if you don't want yours to look like that, then you can colour it in a very different way. It's completely up to you. But anyway, it is just a different way that you can approach a leaf, which I think can be useful. Right, I am going to go and uh, and leave this for now. But thank you so much for watching. Do enjoy the rest of your day and happy colouring. <laughs>